Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 cheapest countries to visit in the world. We put together this list of the cheapest countries to visit in every region of the world, including money-saving tips from our personal experience, top tourist attractions in each country and best time of the year to visit each country. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 cheapest countries in the world to travel. The splendor of expensive destinations has its appeal, but let's face it, the more expensive a place is, the more you have to adjust the length of your trip and your activities there to stretch your dollar. We are always looking for ways to stretch our travel budget to the fullest. There's something to be said for traveling to cheap countries, where an entire meal at a local restaurant costs the same as a movie ticket back home, or where you can sleep at a nice hotel for what would only get you a hostel bed in other places. Who says traveling to distant lands is expensive? Nothing is far and beyond budget if you have your heart set on traveling. There are ways to explore undiscovered places around the globe without spending a fortune. Yes, you read it right. Our list of the cheapest countries in the world will definitely give you major travel goals. Hard to believe? It's possible, albeit. By watching this video till the end, you can definitely find a cheap place in the world where crashing with a limited budget is quite an experience. These are the top 10 cheapest countries to visit in the world. Get ready with your new wish list simply by watching till the end about these top 10 cheapest countries in the world where you can travel without worrying about expenses. Now that's a real deal, don't you agree? Number 10 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Egypt, cheapest country for history buffs. For those interested in ancient civilizations, there are plenty of countries around the world that are more than just affordable. You could head to India to discover the opulence of the Taj Mahal, go to Jordan to see ancient tombs and temples, or fly to Peru to hike through the ruins of the lost city of Machu Picchu. But Egypt, with its pyramids, Valley of the Kings, Great Sphinx of Giza, and 13th century BC Abu Simbel temples, takes a prominent spot at the top of the list. Even a tight budget will go a long way in Egypt, where for the price of a movie ticket, you can enter the ancient Abu Simbel temples, get a full guided tour from the city of Luxor to the Valley of the Kings, or spend several hours tasting amazing local hot drinks and sweets at one of Cairo's many tea houses. While you can find budget accommodations everywhere in Egypt, you can keep your trip even cheaper by hopping on a three-night cruise from Aswan to Luxor. For the same price as a couple of movie tickets, you get a place to sleep. Some of the best views over temples and monuments on the coast, and often a chance to snorkel or swim in the Nile along the way. Number 9 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Dominican Republic, cheapest Caribbean nation to visit the Caribbean is one of those destinations where using travel packages and all-inclusive stays can sometimes turn out to be cheaper than budgeting on your own, and this is also true for the Dominican Republic. If you're heading to Punta Cana, Puerto Plata, or other major beach destinations, restaurants and accommodations are going to be your major expenses, as prices are hiked up considerably during high season, which runs from mid-December to mid-April. For sun worshippers who don't mind temperatures in the 30s, it might pay off to visit in summer, which is considered low season and considerably cheaper. Many of the things to see and do in the Dominican Republic are free. This includes walking around to see the colonial architecture and visiting quirky museums like the Free Museum of Chocolate in Santo Domingo. Punta Cana's Playa Blanca, White Beach, is a great place to visit for snorkeling, just bring your own mask to keep it free. Number 8 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Uganda, cheapest safari destination in Africa. Kenya and Tanzania are known around the world as the big photo safari destinations. The Serengeti and Maasai Mara reserves have the world's largest population of elephants, lions, and giraffes in the world. But safari camps aren't cheap, and both countries suffer from some civil unrest that often means tourists must join guided tours to see anything outside the city, and this means added expenses that end up making the countries less than affordable. Uganda, on the other hand, is a safe and stable country with plenty of big animals to spot, plus one very special extra, this is the ultimate destination for gorilla tracking and the last place in the world where you can see large populations of mountain gorillas living free. There are very strict rules in place for gorilla tracking, and Uganda's Bwindi Impenetrable Forest National Park can only be explored in small groups by obtaining a trekking permit and then joining a guided tour into the jungle. Gorilla trekking permits aren't cheap or easy to obtain, the wait time can be as long as 24 months, 
since there's only a limited number of permits available every year, but a trip here is still very affordable for the wildlife viewing experience of a lifetime. To get even better prices, visit between March and May or during the months of October and November. These are the wettest months, so the treks are harder and more slippery, but the trekking packages and permits are much cheaper as well. Number 7 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Bolivia, cheapest South American country. Bolivia is often passed on for more famous neighbors Peru and Brazil, but this country at the heart of the Andean mountain range has an impressive collection of sites to discover. Bolivia is a multi-ethnic country with 36 official indigenous languages and an ecosystem that varies from the desert llanos, plains, to the polar mountains in the western Andes. Many of Bolivia's most famous sites are free to visit, including Lake Titicaca on the border of Bolivia and Peru, the largest lake in South America, a number of pre-Columbian archaeological sites, Salt Lake Laguna Verde at the foot of a volcano, and Salar de Uyuni, the world's largest salt flat. Trekking in the Valle de la Luna is an experience to remember, and the protected area charges no entry fee, walking through the tall stone spires and the colorful mountainsides in shades of reds, browns, and even dark violets beats almost any desert hike in the world. Food, transportation, and accommodation in Bolivia cost a fraction of the prices you'll find in other South American countries, and prices are even cheaper during the months of April and May, before the high season starts. Number 6 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Portugal, cheapest Western European country. With good bus, tram, and train connections, it's easy to travel around Portugal without spending much. While Lisbon can be slightly more expensive, eating and entertainment everywhere else in the country is very budget-friendly, even popular famous beach destinations such as Camilo Beach in the Algarve can be visited on a shoestring if you plan your trip well and don't need to sleep right on the beach. The true high season in Portugal is only two months long, June and July, so traveling outside those months will help you find good deals in transportation and accommodation to save even more. Winter is also a great time to visit for amazing discounts, especially if you're heading to cities, with temperatures around 15 degrees Celsius in January, Portugal is never truly cold. Most of Portugal's must-see attractions are in Lisbon and Sintra, where you'll find things like the medieval defensive Belém Tower, the Gothic Geronimos Monastery, and the public square Praça do Comércio, surrounded by shops and cafes. These are either free to enter or cost very little. Sintra is home to a number of palaces and castles, including the breathtaking hilltop medieval castle of the Moors, that do have entry fees, but skipping the tours and just spending time exploring the grounds is equally stunning and significantly cheaper. In general, a visit to Portugal is more about enjoying the local food, walking along the coastline, and discovering the sights, which will keep your costs low and allow you to see more of the country on a tight budget. Number 5 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Morocco, cheapest northern African country to visit. Morocco is one of those countries that can cost you a lot of money or be incredibly cheap, depending on the choices you make. For example, visiting Morocco's famous Marrakesh's Bazaar can get pricey, especially if you're after handwoven rugs or painted glass, but if you learn to haggle like your life depends on it, you'll walk away with some budget treasures. Intercity first-class train rides in Morocco will cost you about the same as you would pay for a metro ride in the West. Even better, you don't need to pay for a guide at any of the major attractions, such as the Royal Saudian's tombs or the 12th century Menara Gardens, as they're either easy to discover on your own or an English-speaking guide is included in the price of the ticket. For cheap eating, nothing beats the local specialties, such as Cobb Elpsel, a crescent-shaped cookie stuffed with almond paste, great as a quick snack, the slow-cooked Moroccan stew de gene, or couscous served in many different forms. Sitting down at a restaurant in Morocco often means a higher price, but eating street food or ordering something from a local tea or coffee house will give you a taste of the real Morocco and save you money at the same time. If you avoid peak season, November to March, you'll also find lower-priced accommodations. And you can spend plenty of time walking through places like the White and Blue Robots Audeas Casbah neighborhood or the dusty trails on the Reef Mountains at no cost. Number 4 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Nepal, cheapest country in Asia. Unless you're planning a full guided trek up Mount Everest, which is definitely not a cheap venture, Nepal is incredibly cheap. Even better, you can still enjoy plenty of trekking and even climbing for pennies. Even massive trekking trips, such as an 11-day hike in Longtong Valley, 
will only set you back a few hundred dollars, a quarter of what a track to Everest base camp would cost. Nepal is hard to visit in the low season, as the months between mid-June and mid-September mean lots of rains, potential flooding, and sometimes dangerous landslides that block trails and make hiking impossible. In addition, the weather is misty and cloudy during these months, which means you often get poor visibility and no mountain views. If you're not heading here for climbing, winter, which lasts from mid-December to mid-February, can be a pleasant time to visit, as temperatures often stay around 10 degrees Celsius in the city. Trekking can be tricky in winter because of unexpected winter storms and snow. March to May and September to November are the best months to visit, you'll get some of the best weather and prices that are still stunningly low. Local affordable guided treks do exist, but double check that they offer safe trips dash, you'll get cheaper prices if you sign up for a trek once you arrive rather than booking in advance. If you're not heading anywhere too technical, you can always explore on your own and save even more money. Number 3 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Cambodia. Cheapest Southeast Asian country to visit Cambodia is best known for being home to Angkor Wat, the largest religious monument in the world. Even this world-renowned destination is incredibly affordable to visit, you can just hop on a tuk-tuk, open motorcycle taxi, to reach your destination, buy a temple ticket at the entrance of the first temple, and explore until your heart's content for just pennies, when you're ready to move on, your tuk-tuk driver will take you to the next temple and wait for you. Hiring a tuk-tuk for the entire day will cost you the equivalent of a 15-minute taxi ride in NYC. But Cambodia has much more to offer than stunning ancient temples. The capital, Phnom Penh, is filled with beautiful French colonial architecture, cheap French bakeries, perfect to pick up breakfast or snacks on the go, and lots of temples that are free to visit. For the price of a Starbucks coffee, you can have a meal at a nice restaurant in Cambodia and a modern, comfortable room at a nice hotel will likely be cheaper than a shared hostel room in Europe. Don't try to save money by drinking tap water, though, this is a no-no in Cambodia. For even bigger savings, arrive outside of the cool dry season, which runs from November to February. This is high tourist season and the months when prices go up and the crowds get bigger. At any other time, you'll find incredible deals everywhere you look. Number 2 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Bulgaria, cheapest Eastern European country to visit. For cheap prices in Europe, very few places beat Bulgaria, an unassuming eastern country that remains very much off the beaten track. In summer, tourists from neighboring countries arrive in Bulgaria to enjoy the Black Sea for incredibly low prices, but the rest of the year, the country is quiet. That means no big crowds, no noise, and no crazy high prices for accommodation, food, and entry to attractions. In fact, Bulgaria's most interesting destinations won't cost you a penny. Sofia, the country's capital, is an old city where you can see the Turk and Byzantine influence, but the real charm of the country can't be truly discovered until you step into the countryside. Here, ancient little villages sit next to imposing castles atop mountains. In Bulgaria, you can get an all-day ski lift ticket for a tenth of what you would pay anywhere else in Europe, and the hiking trails will take you up mountains as high as the Alps for free. To make the trip even cheaper, skip the summer months, when the beaches are crowded and hotels raise their prices to take advantage of the short tourist season. Late spring and early fall are great times to visit instead, especially if you're spending time outdoors, the weather is nice, the tourists are gone. Or haven't arrived yet and prices are more than affordable. If you're a winter person, consider Bonsko or Rizlog, two great ski resort areas, where you can enjoy the snow on a very small budget. Number 1 on the list of cheapest countries to visit in the world is Denmark Cheapest Scandinavian countries Scandinavian countries are notorious for being the most expensive destinations in Europe, but if you have your heart set on visiting Northern Europe, there are ways to do it right and without spending a fortune. Of all the Scandinavian countries, Denmark is the cheapest, though still quite expensive when compared to other areas of Europe. To truly save money on this trip, you'll have to skip the busy summer season, and probably also spring as the pleasantly warm weather means lots of tourists and higher prices. Flights and accommodation prices, however, are as much as 40% cheaper between September and November, right after the summer crowds have gone home but before the windy cold weather hasn't arrived yet. Denmark also offers a great way to save money on food, bakeries. Forget paying for expensive meals at your hotel or a touristy restaurant and instead walk into a neighborhood bakery away from the central area. 
Bakeries offer a great cheap option for breakfast, wienerbrit or Danish pastries, fluffy, flaky pastries filled with jams or custard cream. Most bakeries also sell open-faced sandwiches known as smorebread, which are popular lunch options for the locals. Open-faced sandwiches are basically one slice of rye or pumpernickel bread covered with a number of toppings, marinated herring is a popular choice, but you can opt for lighter options such as cheese, sliced cucumbers, or pickled red cabbage, boiled eggs, and some type of mayo or creamy paste. In addition, many of Denmark's most famous attractions are either free or very cheap to visit. Watch the changing of the guard ceremony at Amalienborg Castle, visit Hans Christian Andersen's grave at Assistan Cemetery, or walk the gardens of Rosenberg Castle. The second oldest operating amusement park in the world, Tivoli Gardens, charges a flat entrance fee, but you'll have access to all kinds of rides and entertainment areas for free once you're inside. So, which is your favorite countries to visit among the top 10 cheapest countries to visit in the world? While you may have some countries on your travel list, the search for a perfect destination for your much-awaited trip is never easy. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite countries among the 10 cheapest countries to visit in the world in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.